I'm back. I'm back. He's back! Good afternoon, team. You join me on a very wet, drizzly day. But it's okay. And you might be wondering, where on earth am I? But a lot of stuff is going to be revealed. But actually, those of you who've been watching me for a while, I'm still at the same place of personal training. But there's a lot I need to update you on. I've been doing quite a bit of competing. And I'm getting married next year to my lovely partner. She is brilliant. Really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, a lot of it's going to be revealed throughout this video. But first of all, I want to show you the setup I've got here. This is my beautiful Skoda Roomster. Don't knock it. It's literally like a Ferrari. I'm between two football pitches. And I rent from a brilliant football club here. They're really nice, been um, very kind enough to let me stay here. And this is what you do. You arrive for your personal training session. You walk through here and you're like, oh, what am I about to see? I've already been doing some sessions this morning, so that's why the equipment's out. But it's a blend of between inside and outdoor training. So I've got my dip station, bench, trap bar, got a few like physio band stuff here, some bumper plates. That's one of my small barbells. You come into this room, you've got my air bike cross trainer. I've got my ski machine, um, my pull up slash dip and leg raises rack. My nice massage table, because I now do massage for people. And my old massage table, which people use to do like some exercises on. And then you come out here around the corner, hyper extension, walk all the way down. Got my battle ropes out, which are currently actually getting quite wet, but I've made sure to cover the handles. And then my couple of tires. I've got a pulley system, thinking of getting one more of these so I can then do some cable flies. But I've got my proper Olympic barbell. I've got this rig thing, which when it's stood up, I can do like toes to bar, crossfit movements, normal fitness bike, got loads of stuff here. And then all this space I can use to train people in. So one piece of news is that I qualified as a sports level three masseuse in roughly January uh, this year, so about five months ago, six months ago. So I go to people's houses, sometimes they come here and I give them a massage if they have a bit of an injury, and then I can also do training with them to help them rehab the injury that they've come to me with, whether that be like tight traps or something. And you might be wondering, Albert, what are you eating these days? I'm eating basically as much as I can to try and get a little bit above 90 kilos, but in the lunchbox today, some pan au chocolat. I have coronation chicken sandwich. Uh, what else have I got? I had this uh, raspberry ripple flavor that Marta found for me the other day. That was awesome, tasted amazing. And I've got some pesto chicken and sun-dried tomato wrap. So I still eat healthily, but I'm just trying to get as much food in as possible. And don't worry, I'm still having my four pints of whole milk most days, not generally at the weekends as much, but I've got a two litre whole milk from Budgeons today, which tastes sometimes slightly different, but still tastes very nice. It's the afternoon right now. I've got about 45 minutes to an hour to do a bit of training. I did some training this morning, so I'm hoping now to do some snatches, some overhead squats, some snatch balances, and maybe a bit of te technical work with the clean or the jerk portion of a clean and jerk. And I need to practice some handstand pirouettes, but I'm not sure if it's too wet for it. But I'm going to take you along for the ride. Don't trip over the weights when you're trying to set up for the next lift. And actually, it's really funny. Quick anecdote, I'm digressing a little bit. But if any of you have followed the channel for a while, I used to have a black Labrador called Dana. She died approximately three years ago. And just recording this, I remembered it does a countdown. And the noise it does for the countdown, she always used to freak out from. No idea why. But that was just Dana and her ways. Probably because she's a rescue dog. Anyway, I'm doing some snatches here. So I started off with a power snatch with the weight, then a full snatch, then a hang snatch. I started off at 50 and snatches for me, they are okay. I've been working on them a lot as well as the clean. So I'm up to a 100 kilo snatch and 130 kilo clean and jerk. But within the next year, I'd like to try and get that up to 110 snatch 
and a 140 kilo clean and jerk. And I'm still quite strict and there's a lot for me to work on. So if you guys have any tips, you're allowed to leave it in the UTEM comments section because I'm always up for um, anything. And you definitely can learn from anyone. Because sometimes, actually I remember in a weightlifting class at Horsham CrossFit, I remember one lady, very nice lady called Karen. There was one thing that she said to me in one uh, class and for some reason on that day, it just stuck with me and it was just about... Um, not pulling on the second pull on the snatch too quickly, being patient in the first pull. This is actually quite funny. That thing you just saw me do, I saw Emily Campbell do, the GB weightlifter, at the um, previous strength and depth competition I did, which you're going to hear about in a little bit. But she does that before every lift, and it just looked really cool. Sorry, you've seen me do 50 kilos, 60 kilos, 70 kilos, 80 kilos, 90 kilos. I did 95 kilos. And then 100 kilos, I failed. And it was actually starting to really rain at this point. And then you just saw me do a 100 kilo snatch balance, but very, very unstable. Trying to work on it and get better. And enjoy the rest of the video, guys. <music> end off this video I want to update you on some of the competitions I've been doing recently and today it's 25 degrees in the UK we're about to go to the beach just been to church but it's very hard to stay non-sweaty today so we had the CrossFit open then I got through to quarterfinals and then came 652nd I think in Europe which was my best place finish. So I still want to try and keep improving on that every year. And then I can't remember if it was April or May, but I had the semi-finals of the European CrossFit Championships where I came second. And then we're supposed to have the finals in September, but it's very up in the air at the moment if it's actually going to be running, unfortunately, and I don't know why. But who knows? But if it's not running, hopefully I can just find another competition to do, but not the end of the world if not. And then one of my biggest competitions was July, and that was strength and depth individual. So that was in NEC in Birmingham, and we had about six to seven different events, including swimming, a one rep max squat clean. We had to do an overhead squat workout with some box jumps, and then we had a muscle up workout. It was a brilliant learning experience because I was very strong at the endurance stuff, but I still need to improve on executing high level gymnastics under fatigue and just overall, I think, mindset when it comes to doing some quite complex movements and also strength, but I mean within a workout and doing it under fatigue. But in that competition, it was really cool being able to walk in to the check-in area and see people like you know, Reggie Fassa, people who are competing at CrossFit Games level. I was in the RX, I wasn't in the elite category, but I was still competing alongside people who came roughly like 100, 200th, 300th in Europe in the quarterfinals of the Open where I was coming 652nd. So exposing myself to competing with those guys, it's just really good for me to try and just develop as an athlete. Hope you guys enjoyed this first video back and uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Otherwise, I'm going to just keep updating you on my training, giving you nutrition advice and doing all that good stuff. And my app is coming out very soon, which I'll tell you about in another video. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok as well as Instagram, and uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.